So I wasn't going to originally talk about this because I do think it's pretty personal, but honestly, I think it's too interesting to really not share. So basically, I just recovered from getting all four of my wisdom teeth out, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience because... What I found out talking to nurses and doctors was what happened to me was not the norm. So I was in the office laying down right before the procedure and I was getting ready to be put to sleep. And like most of us, I was very, very scared. My wisdom teeth were erupted and they were not impacted at all. So I wasn't really worried about the procedure itself, but more about being put to sleep because I'd never been put to sleep before. I read so much about what people said, what it was like, and who says it's kind of like just being unconscious or as if you have a couple hours of your life deleted but as someone who is hyper aware of myself and my surroundings all the time i just feel like my brain truly cannot visualize a scenario where i am not hyper aware or aware of something so anyways i'm laying down with the iv in my arm as the nurse finishes up taking questions hooking me up to the heart monitor taking my blood pressure then i met one other person which was the surgeon and then she kind of like left for a couple minutes and then right before they began like the nurse, the surgeon, two other nurses, and the anesthesiologist, who was also a doctor, came in. So there was like four people around me. And I don't know what it is, but being the center of attention with all these doctors, getting ready with all these tools, made my heart rate spike so bad that I couldn't help but laugh. I was embarrassed and I just realized how everybody in this room, even though I'm really, really good at poker facing, I was like, well, shit. Now there's nothing I can do because you hear in the background this loud ass heartbeat. And I remember I said something like, damn, well, there's no hiding how nervous I am. And they like kind of laughed and they said that um, we don't even need music because usually they put like the radio on in the background because they were talking about how loud and how fast my heart was. So this is when the anesthesiologist started adding um, the anesthesia into my IV. And the last thing I remember saying was, um, oh, I feel drunk. And they were like, yep. Sounds about right. Then they added a little bit more and that's when I like fell asleep or slipped away is more what it felt like. So one of my biggest skills on this earth is communication. And this is where it gets kind of hard to really explain what happened next. The first thing I immediately experienced was like this wave of bright white light washing over me and I began seeing what I could only describe as if the entire three dimensional space of the hospital, like my memories, the nurses, um, even the colors of the hospital, so grays, whites, beiges, all began to fuse into one extremely abstract structure that I felt like I was passing through or almost like gently falling beneath. Now, the only thing I my mind goes through when I think of this is like psychedelic experiences or um, even near-death experiences. And what I had always imagined when these type of people would talk about, you know, seeing extremely abstract, hard to put into words, things is like geometric fractals but this was really nothing like that they these were this was extremely abstract and almost random but at the same time everything was highly organized and structured also one big difference from fractals is what i was seeing felt like it was living and breathing which in my opinion is the opposite of how geometric fractals look so side note here i have never done psychedelics i've only ever drank and smoked weed so when i talk about fractals the only ones i've ever seen were computer generated which looked very static so what I like to relate this folding in of reality is from the movie Inception and the scene in Paris where the city is literally folding onto itself and also Interstellar when Coop is in the Tesseract. It was almost like the entire hospital and people and light was all folding onto itself and everything was passing by me. Like I had no perception of myself. It was just vision. It was like all these fractured forms, almost like mirrors of like different like realities or like these sheets were like going past my face and then in this blackness. It's just very hard to explain. But I also want to say it was like as if this structure or organic thing, whatever the hell I was in, it felt like it was almost conscious, like it was literally opening itself up for me, allowing me to pass through it. And looking back on this now, I assume this structure was like a literal physical um, representation of my consciousness that I was becoming detached from. So obviously when you get um, put out, you're getting put into a twilight zone or an unconscious state. So I felt like what I was seeing was the transition visually to that state. Also, I don't think any of these events were happening linearly, but you know, because our brains are structured a certain way and forms memories in a very linear fashion, I remember these events in that way. So I'm passing through or honestly what 
at this point really feels like gently falling like almost like a leaf very gently falling down through this literal manifestation of my consciousness and i feel like i remember settling at the bottom of what looked like a shallow pond so again i have one direction of vision one field of view and i'm looking up consistently and i feel like i'm at this bottom it was darker down here and I was looking up and was now further away from those beings and the light and the halls and all that abstract stuff. But it was still all swirling above. By the way, I was actually also aware of everything. Um, not the pain itself for people who are watching this who haven't gotten their wisdom teeth out. It wasn't that I could feel pain. But it was as if I could see through my eyelids and I could see and hear the nurses at the same time as experiencing all this happening. And that might sound terrifying to you. And I know if someone told me that before I got mine done, I would have been freaking out. But... It truly wasn't scary. I wasn't scared at all. I was just aware. So the last thing I remember was right before being woken up, I felt like I was being pulled up from this sunken place um, that was kind of like the bottom of the pond and seeing what I had seen previously, but now reversed. So before I was gently descending, but now I'm ascending and everything was passing and moving out of the way to reveal that immensely bright white light that was behind everything from before. But this time, this was the last thing I I kind of like passed through before I came back and woke up and it's kind of funny but the first words before I even really got was awake was what did you give me because I again maybe if I had done psychedelics and I know I look like I've done psychedelics people are always always shocked that I have and especially with my art and stuff but yeah maybe if I had you know done acid like this wouldn't have been as shocking of an experience or something but what really stuck with me next was when I immediately just started explaining to the nurse um what happened it really did stop her in her tracks like she was doing her routine checks and stuff and she kind of just like stopped and looked at me and the look on her face looked like really genuine and like she was genuinely surprised and she said usually Usually people don't recall anything at all and she's never heard anybody tell her that they saw what I saw and I immediately asked for my phone so I could write down what I saw and you know when you're an author when you like to write you're always writing down inspiration so I really wanted to get my phone and I just remember she told me she kept reminding me like do it quickly like that sounds so cool she really didn't want me to forget and looking back, it really seemed like she wasn't treating me like, oh, he's high, he's out of it. It seemed like she was being very genuine. And as a nurse, you know, she sees patients every day. So she knows what's just the drugs and what's something different. So one last piece of context that might make all of this make a bit more sense for you guys is I am extremely self-aware and my memory recall and formation is honestly incredible. I'm not trying to boast or anything. It gets to the point where I scare myself and I've had, I don't even know how many friends, family tell me like how weird. I am because of the random things that I can remember not just photographically but the smell the touch everything at once and I have also multiple different forms of synesthesia so my senses and memories are involuntarily making connections all the time so the reason I'm saying this is because maybe possibly my experience might actually be common because again they're actually putting you into a twilight type um, medicated state so you're not supposed to be completely blacked out but what I'm thinking is because I have such strong Strong memory recall and like my will will not let go or let me just fade away I'm like fighting it and staying awake and maybe majority of people experience what I experience but because they don't have that memory recall they just end up not making the connections in their brain and then when they look back on this event obviously there's nothing to remember which again is what's supposed to happen you're not supposed to remember this so what I really wanted to explain about all this is to kind of get to why the title of the video is what it is and why I do compare this experience so heavily to a near death experience now I know what I experienced was an altered state of consciousness and was the result of drugs and not some literal spiritual one however the biggest thing that really stuck with me wasn't even really the trippy psychedelic experience but the transition between the two states itself before the procedure, I was so nervous to the point where I was even surprising myself because the previous day and the night before, I slept well, I had no anxiety, overthinking, or anything. And when I'm worried about something, it usually doesn't take me to get there to be worried. It will be a couple days before where I'll, the anxiety will be building, but that wasn't happening this time. But really just trust me when I say the feeling of going from such a mortal, confused, scared state and then seamlessly transitioning to this immensely blissful, incomprehensible state while fully being still self-aware, 
is something that is very memorable. I'm not kidding when I say, and I say it all the time in other videos, that I have read probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of different near-death experience testimonies from all around the world, and I feel like my brain has kind of mixed them together and gives me like an average of what people recall. And one of the most common things that people say is that the transition from worry and bliss to peace, to this strange state, is truly unforgettable. What's so crazy about all this too is when I first woke up, I didn't really expect this experience to have such an impact on me at all because obviously I'm aware that this is drugs and this can cause something like this. However, as someone who suffers from anxiety from time to time and always thinking about the worst, I feel like in a weird way on some level, this experience remedied some of those thought patterns. When you have anxious thoughts, your brain is quickly jumping from one negative thought to the next building towards catastrophe. And in my case, I have a lot of anxiety about health. And for example, like if I have a bad cavity, my brain will go from what if it it keeps getting worse and worse what if it gets infected and spreads and then what if i go septic and die like it obviously is very dramatic but after this experience i feel like my mind feels like in some capacity that it has an idea of what that moment that transitory moment of consciousness to death feel like it kind of knows what that might feel like immense worry and possibly even pain but only for a brief moment before silently and seamlessly slipping away and becoming enveloped into this place of peace and grace i had so much worry and wanted the procedure to be over that once it was over i was like damn that experience almost Almost felt a little too enjoyable and to be honest it also felt almost intuitively like something that I know I will feel on a much grander and clearer scale in the future like maybe once I die again this reminds me of people who have passed and came back and how they felt their experience felt hyper real or like their home and somewhere they would never want to leave and that they couldn't believe that they were scared about dying or scared about having to go through this experience now obviously I do not feel or think that my experience was that level of bliss or euphoria or perfection not at all but the similarities are clearly still there to make all this a bit more personal that I originally wasn't going to speak about before as as a teen, I suffered with a lot of suicidal thoughts, a lot of depression, and there was times where I even hoped and prayed, you know, like, Heavenly Father, welcome me into your arms and bestow your grace upon my soul because I just wanted to feel these beautiful experiences I would always hear about and then be revived to have a new outlook and appreciation on my life and to basically cure my depression that I was suffering with at the time. And for people who aren't aware of near-death experiences, a lot of people say, like, even health problems, like physical health problems but a lot of times their outlook on the world their depression once they come back they have such a different outlook on the world and their life and some people i don't know if it's true or not but some people will say that they were struggling with chronic health issues that were cured once they came back so that's what i meant when i said i wanted to get a different outlook and maybe be more positive about my life i know that that sounds absolutely horrible and sad but i promise you i am completely cured now and i truly do not have depression and if anything i'm actually overwhelmed with optimism and excitement for my future so do not feel bad for me and if anything be inspired and know that it can get better and most of the time it does get better but anyways i can't help but feel even all these years later and even after not suffering with depression at all that my request was in a way fulfilled like i explained earlier now whenever i think about death my mind doesn't hit this black wall of dread where everything past it is worryingly incomprehensible. I personally do believe that once we die, we realize that we are so much incomprehensibly larger than we could have ever fathomed on this earth and that we all inevitably return home to this thing that you know some call god ancestors consciousness the universe whatever you choose but what i'm saying is i feel like i can understand maybe what that moment will be like now and how not only is it not something to be afraid of but it's something to look forward to to have so many fearful thoughts throughout my life about the moment of death and to have your mind constantly scrambling trying to grasp this concept or this moment is not fun. But now I feel almost intuitively that I've gotten a very small taste of what that moment will be like and that when all is said and done, everything will inevitably be okay. Who would have thought that getting my fucking wisdom teeth out would have altered my outlook on life and death so much? Who would have thought? This is what I mean. Like, life is fucking crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah.